This video is part of our course on modern C++ which goes from the absolute beginning all the way to a point where you can use advanced features of the C++ programming language. We even cover the four big features in C++20 and that is concepts, ranges, coroutines, and modules. And we have a bunch of exercises to really help you nail this down. Please do check this course out if you are interested in this. And you can also check out what others are saying about the course here. The link is going to be shared in the description below. In this lecture, we're going to do a simple example showing you how the masks we have learned about in the last lecture can be useful. Here is a simple example of how we may call a function. And the thing I want you to focus on here is the parameters we are passing in this function. We have a lot of parameters from flag zero all the way to flag seven. And each bool occupies one byte of memory in your computer. So we are basically using eight bytes to pass these parameters into this function and we can print the flags out. No big deal here. But I want to bring to your attention that with your new gained powers, you can change this function to not use eight bytes to pass all these parameters, but only use one byte. Let's see how. We can do something like this. We can pass an unsigned car and call it flags. And that flag is going to be using each bit in our byte to do something useful. And inside the body of the function, we can use the same technique we learned about in the last lecture, which we can use to check if a particular bit is zero or one. And with this, we can get exactly the same thing as we had here, only we are using a smaller amount of memory because we are passing one byte instead of eight bytes. Let's head to Visual Studio Code and see how we can do this. Okay, here we are in our working folder. We are going to copy the template files as we always do. And we are going to go in 87 mask example because that's what we are doing here and paste in the files. We are going to open the project in Visual Studio Code. No big deal here. And we are going to open up our main CPP file, remove whatever we don't need. And uh, we are going to remove all this noise from the main function. The first thing we're going to do is put in our function that is going to use eight bytes to do things. Let's give ourselves some breathing room by removing this pane here. We're going to go in main and actually call this function with a call like this. Okay, we're going to give it a set of parameters and these parameters are going to be interpreted as booleans by the compiler when we call this function here. We can try and build this. Let's bring up the terminal a little bit. And we're going to run the task to build with GCC. This is going to go through. And if we run this, you're going to see that flag zero is zero, one is one, and we basically have the data that we passed in here. But the problem with this is that we are using eight Boolean parameters here, and that's going to take up a lot of memory that we waste. So what we can do is make this shorter by passing one parameter, which is a car variable, which is going to take up one byte, but useful information is going to be stored in each bit, making up that byte. Before we do that, we're going to set up our masks. So let's go up a little bit and put them in front of any function that we define. And we're going to go down and put in our modified function. Our function is going to be called use options version one. And it's basically going to be using the technique we saw in the last lecture to check the value in a particular bit position. It's basically going to go in and check if bit zero is zero. So it's going to print that out. If bit one is one, it's going to print that out. We basically going to get the same information we have in version zero of our function, but we're going to be doing this in a much more compact way. We can also go down in main and call this function. No big deal here. And you see that we call it with the combined masks using the bitwise or operation here. And if we build and run, let's put a separator here so that we can see our output in a nice way. So we're going to say SDC out. We're going to put a few lines here. And if we build and run, let's run this. But before we do, let's bring this up a little bit so that we have some room and we're going to clear and run rooster. 
You're going to see that it's basically is the same thing, but the technique is much more compact. Okay, this is one example on which we could really make use of the techniques we learned about in the last lecture. And this is a technique used in many popular libraries like OpenGL, where you have to pass options to your functions using things that look like masks. And when you get to use these things, you're going to understand that because we really have learned about that in this chapter. This is really all I had to share in this lecture. I hope you found it interesting. We're going to stop here in this lecture. In the next one, we're going to see another example of how you can pack color information in a really small variable. Go ahead and finish up here and meet me there.